Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. I just wanted to do a quick haul video on the new Lawn Fawn release. I ordered it Wednesday night and I got it today, Saturday, um, from Hallmark Scrapbook and Crafts. They have super fast shipping. They shipped it on Thursday, literally like a few hours after I ordered it very late Wednesday night. I couldn't wait to get it, so I was super excited. So let me go ahead and show you what I got. Um, the first set that I got was Hoppy Easter with the coordinating dies, and this little bunny is so adorable, and, um, it can hold, like, the basket or the egg in its hands, uh, and those have dies too, so super easy to cut them all out. You can make a really quick Easter card with this set. It's super cute. And then it says Hoppy Easter with a little exclamation point, so I love that. And then every year they do a different special stamp set. And this one is year seven. And it's meant to be a little pinata with the coordinating dies. And also has three little dies for these cute little pieces of candy. Um, hope your birthday is a smash. And it's just so cute. And this is like a little, supposed to be like a little piece of the paper that would be like on a pinata. So... I foresee using this with like some twine and then a little slider, using one of the slider dies to make it kind of swing back and forth on the card and then, you know, put the, you know, stamp the candy and color it in and make it look like the candy is falling out of it. So I can't wait to play with that. Super cute. It's all super cute. This release is seriously probably one of my favorites. I didn't get everything. I didn't get any of the inks or anything. Because I find that I don't really use like colored inks too much. I usually just use black ink um, and then I just color everything in. But I'm, I may get the inks at some point. I'm not sure. So I got Bicycle Built for You and the coordinating dies. And this one is so cute. Um, you could make like a cute little wedding card. You could do wishing you a beautiful wedding day. Um, and then it has like the little veil for the little girl and like a top hat for the little boy. And then even like the little cans, like you would hang on a car, you could have coming out the back of the bicycle. Um, this little dog is so cute and it, you could cut that out and put it in a little basket. Um, and it has the balloons and this cute little pennant die. I mean, little pennant and then of course the dies to go with it. So... I can't wait to make some cute little things with that. You could even use like one of the slider dies and make this move. I know I've seen a couple videos that were released before all of this was available for order and a couple of the people had done the slider dies with that. Um, this kind of coordinates with this set. Um, this um, cuts out the same way as the stitched hillside borders and this one is called road border and this one has like you know the little pieces that you would see in the road so you could I mean this is just so cute and then this is stitched so you could I'm gonna try and find a way to cut the bike out and then make it kind of go in the little road so we'll see <laughs> we'll see how that works out <laughs> Um, this set is Elfie Selfie. This is another one of my favorites. Well, they all are, or I wouldn't have ordered them. <laughs> so this has very cute sentiments. Like, you take the best selfies, cheese, and you can even say, like, sorry, I forgot if you are sending, you know, like a belated birthday card or something. And it has cute, these little faces are super cute. You can put it, like, in the balloon. You can even put it in the camera. You could put it in the little pennant. Um, even on the cake. And then it has this cute little mouse. Um, kind of like the bigger elephant and the baby elephant. And this, oh, this camera is so cute. So it can be taking a little selfie. And then it has the, even like the little word click to make it, you know, in case people don't understand what's going on in your card scene. And then the little, like it would be a flash or something. So, and then it even has like the little water spout that might be coming out of the nose. And then the coordinating dies for that. This one, if I had to pick my favorite one, would be this one. I always wanted to be an astronaut when I was a little kid. So this is so much fun. Um, I love all of the... Sorry, this is out of this world. I love all the little sentiments in this. Like, today the world revolves around you. Hope your birthday is. 
out of this world. You could put like, I love you to Pluto and back. There's so many different combinations. So, and then it has all these cute little faces that you could give on the planets. It's just adorable. And a little rocket ship. You could use like a slider for the rocket ship, like taking off or something. Um, this is meant to be a boy or a girl, so you can maybe like draw little eyelashes on her if you want it to be a girl. And then maybe like make the little mouth like red or the cheeks so that it's supposed to be like a little girl. That would be cute. Um, all the, I mean, the, it's just adorable. I cannot wait to play with this one. And then I got the coordinating dies for it. So that's fun. And another one that kind of goes with that one is Starry Skies and this shoots out like a or it <laughs> die cuts like a little shooting star and then all of these little little stars so you can it's meant to go like in the four corners of your card so like this would be like the left corner and then this would be the right corner etc so that's really cute and like a really good price point I think it was only like four dollars so super cute then this one is How You Bean and I love jelly beans. Well, jelly bellies, actually. There is a difference. <laughs> um, it has a super cute um, little sentiments on this one, too. How you bean. Thanks for being sweet. And then a ton of little, um, little face. I love this little one with the little mustache. That's so cute. And the little one with the tongue sticking out. Uh, and you can put them all on, you know, you can make the jelly beans have little faces and stuff. And then it comes with the, the like, full stamp and then the cutout, you know, so that you can put a face on it. And then the little label where you could put any of your little sentiments on here. Um, and then I didn't get just the die set for this one. I ended up just getting the shaker add-on because I really saw this as like a shaker card stamp set instead of just like um, cutting it out to put it on a card. Um, and it so it comes with four little jelly jelly beans and then hearts and stars and then the little label and you just use like craft foam and pop it up and then you can put sequins or anything in there and make it into a little shaker card. So that'll be fun to play with. And then I got both of these. Um, it's a girl border and it's a boy border just because, you know, people have babies all the time. So this is going to come in handy. It's, it's super cute and it, it's meant to fit all the way across the card. Um, it's a lot bigger than like an average. Um, let's see here. I have a piece of cardstock cut out already. So this is like, uh, five and a half by four and a quarter. So it's longer if you're gonna do it like portrait like this, but then you can just snip off the ends and that's the way it looks with, if you do um, like the landscape version of cards, so. That's that. This one, Happy Hatchling, is so cute for Easter. I don't have a ton of stuff for Easter and actually these probably, the little Easter things that I got here, like Hoppy Easter, are probably like, maybe like the third and fourth thing that I have for Easter. So I don't do a lot of Easter crafting, but this is, this is so cute. And I saw like Lawn Fawn on their video, they cut it out with felt and made it like a little banner. So that, I mean, that would be really cute. Um, and it has like the little feet and the beak that cut out and then just like the stitched one. And then this one cuts out like little, little holes. So it'd be kind of like a polka dot egg. And then this one has a stripe. So you could cut it out in different colors, you know, and then do like yellow and pink, some spring colors on each stripe, or you can just stamp it in, or, um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> I can't, I lost my train of thought, but it's okay. And then there's even like this little chevron piece that you could cut out and then do across this one that's plain. There's not a stamp set that goes with this one. It's just a die set and it's perfect. And you could put together a cute, quick little um, Easter card. Um, I also got slide on over circles. I have the other slide on over pieces that are kind of more straight. And then a couple of them are, have a little wave to them. But this one will be so cute for the the outer space stamp set because you can make the little astronaut move or, I mean, it's really going to be good for a lot of different sets because it's just, 
it's gonna make the slider cards super easy to do circle ones and I'm I'm looking forward to trying that out and then this one I haven't seen too many samples of this one out there but I still got it because I I had kind of a vision so we'll see how it turns out there's not like a stamp set or anything that goes with this it's just the die and it's called wonderful window and it has this cute little kind of like tulip looking flower die and then you know like the little um oh my gosh the planter that you could cut out like in brown or something or like, even like wood grain would be cute and then the little window so I love it um, we'll see what happens with it um this isn't from the new release this is from the last release but I did not get it because it was sold out at the time I placed that order so I got it now and this is happy mail and this makes like a little mailbox with the little envelope that you can fold up um, even the little flag for the mailbox where I live we don't have mailboxes like this we have like the community mailboxes where you go and get your mail so this this to me is like nostalgic when you used to just be able to go to the end of your driveway and get your mail so and it even has like a little face that you could cut out on the mailbox so this is cute can't wait to play with this last but not least on stamps and dies is the scalloped box card pop-up I think I saw today on Instagram that it sold out already so I'm super glad I got this because I was waiting ever since I saw the first sample of it because I've made those like pop-up cards before and they're kind of difficult if you don't cut exactly the right dimensions so I'm excited to be able to just stick it in my die um, machine with a piece of paper and it's just gonna cut everything out for me I mean it doesn't get much easier than that so this is super cute so it has like this um this die right here it is meant to be like a little pennant like a little banner thing in the background and then it has all of these little pieces and then you fold them together over this so you can make like a cute little banner it said like it could say baby it could say birthday I mean anything and then it also has this bigger one that you could use. If, I mean, you could put just like three of them and like put mom for Mother's Day. And then it has the smaller little ones. And then it even has a triangular one. Um, and then it has cute little stars and hearts. So I'm probably going to make a ton of different cards with these. And they fit in a regular A2 size envelope. So, I mean, it seriously cannot get easier to make a pop-up card anymore so I'm so glad that I got this so those are all of my stamps and dies that I got and then I got the two paper pads <clears throat> I got watercolor wishes the six by six um, little set and it comes with three each of these 12 designs so there's like a lighter version and then a little darker version and it's meant just to look like watercolor paper which is great because I can do watercolor paper but this is easy because it's already done um for some reason these were already like all falling out when I opened it earlier so bear with me so there's the light pink super pretty and then this is kind of more like a peachy looking color I was expecting it to be more pink but maybe it's just my eyes I don't know <laughs> but to me it's a little more peach but it's really pretty and I love I just love that um here's the soft yellow the darker yellow the soft green oops and then the darker green and the soft blue I mean this is like this is perfect for like grass either one of them obviously it's just it's pretty super pretty this will be great for sky um it, it's beautiful this is beautiful I love if I can get like a hundred of just this color I'd be so happy it's perfect a uh, sky blue color and then a darker blue and I apologize I don't know all of the lawn fawn colors because I know they coordinate with all the lawn fawn colors and I'm just not because I don't I don't usually buy like the colored packs of paper or anything so and like I said I don't have any of the inks so I just don't know the names so I apologize about that and then purple which is my favorite color and that's the light compared to the dark super pretty so you get three of each of those so that's a lot of paper so I'm excited to use those 
And then the other one I got is Perfectly Plaid Rainbow. This is like the perfect spring pad of paper. So this is also six by six. You get three of each of these designs. And then they have the diagonal one and then you get the straight one. So like there's the diagonal purple and then you get, which I think is called grape soda. I think that's the only one I know because purple is my favorite color. Um, diagonal and then you get the straight plaid. So, and it's just, it's so cute. It's perfect for spring and like Easter cards and stuff like that. So there's the diagonal, there's the straight one, and the purple, so pretty. Um, that one, that, this would be so cute for grass. Um, super cute. That one, and then the blue, like this would be even good for a little, if you use like the puffy cloud dye, you can make little clouds out of this one. So that is that pack and I can't wait. I'm going to use this for the um, scallop box card pop-up. That's probably going to be the first card that I make. Actually, I think I might use the watercolor wishes because I want to make a baby card for um, one of my mom's friends that's having a baby. So I, well, her friend's not having a baby. Her friend's child is having a baby. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm going to make that one and I will, um, attempt to film a video on that. I've never filmed a video actually making a card before, um, because I tend to take a long time. Sometimes one card will take me like an hour, if not longer than that. And hopefully people appreciate them when they get them because it does take a long time. Sometimes we have like a little bit of like a crafter's block or something and, or something's not working right. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try and post my first video using one of these sets and then go from there and maybe I'll keep making them. Well, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. And I will post a link to all of this stuff uh, down in the description box. Thanks.